Have you ever wondered about the current health crisis in Gaza? It's a calamity that has been escalating over time, and it's important that we shed light on the gravity of the situation. Gaza is currently experiencing a health catastrophe of monumental proportions. Health authorities in the region are sounding alarm bells, warning of the rapid spread of epidemics. The situation is dire, with the threat of disease looming large as dead bodies remain scattered in the streets and under the rubble of buildings destroyed by airstrikes. The Minister of Health in Gaza, Mai al Qaila, has voiced her concerns over the potential for a large outbreak of epidemics in the coastal enclave. The presence of dead bodies under the rubble contributes to the spread of diseases, a situation that has been described as catastrophic. Children, the most vulnerable members of any society, are at high risk. Necessary actions need to be taken immediately to provide vaccinations, as the spread of diseases such as cholera and disorders of the immune system are rampant throughout Gaza. The health conditions are further exacerbated by a severe shortage of health personnel, equipment and medicines. Al-Qaila iterated that out of the 36 hospitals in the Gaza Strip, only 14 are partially operating. This is a crisis of epic proportions. Adding to the woes of the Palestinian people, several governments have suspended their funding to the United Nations Agency for Palestinian Refugees, UNRWA. This decision has been met with widespread criticism, with Doctors Without Borders expressing deep alarm, stating that any additional limitations on aid will result in more deaths and suffering. As we can see, the health conditions in Gaza are catastrophic and immediate action is necessary. Now let's delve deeper into the catastrophic health conditions in Gaza. Experiencing a severe shortage of health personnel, equipment and medicines, the region's medical infrastructure is teetering on the brink of collapse. There are 36 hospitals in the Gaza Strip, and only 14 are partially operational, 9 in the south and 5 in the north. This stark reality paints a grim picture of the healthcare situation in Gaza. The situation has been further exacerbated by the decision of several governments to suspend their funding to the United Nations Relief and Works Agency for Palestine refugees in the Near East, also known as UNRWA. This move has sent shockwaves throughout the region, with health officials warning of severe repercussions, especially considering the already dire circumstances in the Gaza Strip. This decision has not been taken lightly by international organizations. Doctors Without Borders, known by its French acronym MSF, has voiced its deep concern. The organization is alarmed by the escalating humanitarian crisis, which has reached catastrophic levels in the Gaza Strip. Any additional limitations on aid, they warn, will result in more deaths and suffering. The United Nations, too, has raised the alarm. Last month, it issued a warning about the growing threat of infectious diseases among the residents of the besieged strip. These individuals, who have so far survived relentless bombardment, are now at risk of falling prey to epidemics. The war, which began in early October, has already claimed more than 26,750 lives. These numbers are not just statistics, they represent individuals, families and communities torn apart by conflict. Indeed, the health crisis in Gaza has reached catastrophic levels and any further limitations on aid will result in more deaths and suffering.